Yeah, so first a little bit about Kisisto, so you have some context. So um, we're the creators of Kai, a conversational AI platform for the financial services industry. Um, Kai was created around the same time as Siri for Apple, um, off the same, uh, essentially, platform. But um, whereas Siri is a uh, very single turn, you ask a question, you get an answer. We've taken that code, that platform, and we've made it very conversational and highly trained for financial services. So um, our platform is able to have really deep, humanizing, contextual conversations um, with people in the finance industry about all different types of topics, such as account information, mortgage information, uh, credit card servicing, or even house a portfolio and investments. Um, so that's a little bit about um, Consisto. Um, what we're seeing in the industry in general is we're just seeing a lot of energy spent on the customer experience. Um, all different types of digital platforms from mobile applications to um, pretty immersive websites and other uh, means of digitally interacting with uh, customers uh, seems to be a hot topic. Uh, many of our customers are investing quite a bit in terms of extending those digital experiences to be very conversational. Um, so we're seeing the adoption of intelligent virtual assistants and intelligent chatbots, um, solutions that we provide to the market as being really um, important to our customers. Um, one of the big reasons we're here at Money Live this week is to connect with our customers and others in the industry um, to talk about these trends um, and the focus and priorities around virtual assistants. Um, and uh, we're delighted to be here. Yep, so we're showcasing Kai, as I mentioned, our conversational AI platform. Um, really three virtual assistants this week. Uh, one is uh, Kai Business Banking, um, which allows uh, banks of all sizes that have corporate clients, such as um, treasury managers and um, corporate finance teams, um, have pretty immersive conversational uh, interactions with our um, virtual assistant. So that's KBB, uh, KCB Kai Consumer Bank allows uh, large retail banks to provide a very intelligent, highly trained virtual assistant out to their customers. Uh, a good example of that would be Standard Chartered. Um, one of our clients out in Asia um, has been using KBB for quite some time um, in their operation. They've rebranded that virtual assistant, Stacy, um, and they've been able to reduce their call center volume by 66% by having our virtual assistant essentially manage a lot of these uh, different digital interactions with their customers. The really interesting story there is as they've decreased the call volume into their call center, they've also increased digital engagement by four times. So their customers actually stay longer on the digital channel, ask more questions and get happier um, by using Stacy um, or KCB as we call it. And also the last virtual assistant we're demonstrating is Kim, uh, Kai Investment Management, which is made for the wealth management and investment management sector of banking. Um, that allows banks to essentially provide a really intelligent assistant that is highly trained for investment management and wealth management to provide um, answers like, how's my portfolio and my positions and my orders and executions. Quite a bit of news actually. Uh, recently we were awarded the Deloitte Fast 500 um, recognition in the US for one of the fastest growing fintechs. Um, so that was a great accomplishment. We've grown quite a bit over the past three years. Um, at Money Live 20, um, sorry, Money 2020, uh, back in the US, we um, announced uh, Kai Business Banking with JP Morgan Chase, um, which was a great accomplishment. They're using that product globally for their uh, cash management products. Um, and just generally um, spending quite a bit of time announcing our customers and many of their outcomes like Emirates and Live, as a good example, uh, TD up in Canada, Manulife, um, and DBS in Asia. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, probably gets back to my earlier comment. As I said, we're just seeing this pretty um, consistent trend across the industry around digital engagement and the digital experience around the customer, providing much more immersive digital experiences um, to both um, business users and also uh, consumers through many different digital channels. Um, digital is just a very big theme this year uh, and banks are really becoming myopically focused on that.